This is going to be a long awaited update video from an event that occurred in two years ago, now two years ago. If y'all remember a former NFL player by the name of Joe McKnight, you would know that he was killed in 2016 in a road, what they called a road rage incident involving this motherfucker right here by the name of Ronald Gasser. So apparently, Joe McKnight got out of his vehicle and approached Ronald Gasser at his car. Words were thrown back and forth, and then Ronald Gasser pulled out his gun and shot Joe McKnight. And, of course, Joe McKnight ended up getting killed. It was a big deal for a little bit, and then it kind of went quiet. As a matter of fact, it went a little too quiet. And we automatically thought, you just recently... He was sentenced up to 40 years in prison. But he's only going to serve 30 of those 40 years. So that was the, they could only knock off 10 years. So Ronald Gasser will be going to jail for 30 years. He's 56 now, so that means by the time he's able to get out, if he even serves the entire 30, he will be 86 years old. That's if he even makes it that long. They need to put his ass in Gen Pop. He tried to say that Joe McKnight was the aggressor. He was defending himself. That, at least that's what his attorneys tried to say. Because, you know, they had to make it seem like Joe McKnight was the aggressor. But the pe the jurors and I guess the judge weren't buying that. They pretty much found him guilty for his murder. Now, as I'm reading through this, um, through this uh, article, I'm glad that I'm not seeing anything that's uh, saying that the McKnight family forgives this motherfucker and everything like that. I'm trying to see if there's anything uh, else in here that needs to be said. Okay, they said the jury voted 10 to 2 for the lesser verdict of manslaughter. And it says he was indicted on a second degree murder charge. So he technically did get a less, like I said, he got a lesser charge. I'm guessing the additional 10 years would have been like I said, the whole 40, which would have been the, the whole thing. I'm still kind of reading through uh, and things of that nature. Uh, this is witnesses at the trial said McKnight had been weaving in and out of the traffic at high speed before the shooting. Prosecutors acknowledged to the jury that he was, in the words of the assistant district attorney, Seth Shute, moments before the shooting. First off, fuck that. Who's that? This Seth Shute? Fuck him, going to say Joe McKnight, a man who's deceased and can't be here to defend himself, was driving like a jerk. See, and, and, and right here where it said that he drove off an exit that he would not ordinarily take. And not, we're not talking about Joe McKnight. We're talking about this guy. So if he if, if Joe McKnight was such an issue, why would you still pursue this guy? It almost like a damn high-speed chase. If Joe McKnight was taking an exit and this guy followed him and everything like that, and, and Joe McKnight did not like hit his vehicle to the point where and, you, and he didn't stop and you still follow him, then that's an issue. And you followed him and then you killed him. That's why the jurors could not see it the way that the district attorney did. Because technically, you still, like they said in the article, escalated the incident by following this man and then pulling out your gun and then shooting him. Because then it, now it turned everything back on you. The minute... This motherfucker pulled that trigger and killed Joe McKnight. That was it. Everything pretty much went out the window after that. And he probably thought that he, because he was a white guy, and what state did I think this happened in Texas, if I'm not mistaken? I think it happened in Texas. He, um, he probably thought that just because he was a white man in Texas, and I'm just saying Texas, I'm, I forget if that was the actual place where it happened at, that he would get off. But as you can see, his arrogance didn't quite help him in this case. I hope he serves the entire 30 years. I don't need to hear no stories coming out saying, oh, there was a loophole. He's only going to be in here for 30 days while getting 30 years probation and so many hours of community service. Because you know they'll pull that shit, that loophole shit out of their ass. They will do that shit. But hopefully now the McKnight family can be at peace. I know that this has been a long, long wait. I mean, 
you're talking about waiting damn near two years since 2016 for something like this to happen. But I guess you can say in so many words for that family, justice was served in its own sort of way. He should have got life. In, he would have got life in my own, in my personal opinion. But 30 years is still a fairly long time, especially when you got to be in jail for 30 damn years. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments.